This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Applesauce. The blender should only turn on when the apple touches it. Oh, does ours not? Oh, it starts all right. Okay, okay. Do this. Use the new code you have just learned to check whether, if, 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 if the blender is touching an apple. Use a conditional, an if, to only shake the blender when the apple is touching. Hint, you will need to drag two blocks into the workspace. So only shake the blender if the apple is touching. All right, so I know I need an if. Make the background, that's fine. And I'm going to go ahead and put mine here. Sure. So if, or here, if what? If the apple is touching. And we just saw, let me head to sprites, this, right? The is touching block. And we can use it to ask the computer a question. I'm asking if sprite is touching target. So if apple is touching, because my sprite is apple, and my other variable here is blender, if apple is touching blender, and the computer will respond true or false. True meaning, yep, it is touching the blender. False meaning, nope, it's not. And keep in mind, draw loop runs 30 times a second. So we'll constantly be checking. If it is false, it does not run this code inside. What do we need inside? Well, the shaking of it. And here we are, right? Blender.x equals 200, which is its uh, normal x location, minus 5 plus 5. So that's making it shake around because we run 30 times a second and give it a new x location right around 200. But we only want that to happen while the apple is actually touching the blender. And so once this is true, once the apple is touching the blender, this is true. It runs the code inside and then keeps going, right? If it is false, the blender would not be able to jump around if this is false, because if this is false, it skips over that code and just runs as normal. Let's see. Ta-da! Applesauce. Cool. Onward.